Hi everyone, in this video tutorial, I will help you guys understand um, about breakpoints, um, learn how to use it um, so that we can see actual um, information and in requests and responses that the um, application or mobile web makes and receives. In order to do so, your MacBook, your mobile device, and Charles need to set up properly. So if you have not done so, please um, um, please use the video tutorial for Charles setup before proceeding to this um, video tutorial. Alright, so um, I have my Galaxy S4 right here on my screen and I have Charles right here on my left. Um, so let's pick uh, an application. Um, let's do Yelp, for example. So what does, so how should we start? So let me clear out all my breakpoints so that we can start fresh. So besides the recording button right here, you have the breakpoint button right here. So let me clear everything. All right. So let's say I do a search for um, Uchiko, and on my application, um, so I would press search. So now, how do I know which call has been made to get this information? Um, it's kind of tricky if you have everything listed here. So what I would do is let me clear everything here. Let me go back to the main screen before um, I press search. So let me tap on this again. And then let me clear all of my recording and now I do a search um, this one is analytics so I don't think this is the correct one so let me try a different name I think it has been cached already so it doesn't make additional calls so let me try Uchi for example now that I have Uchi on the list on the screen and a keyword I'm gonna clear everything before tapping search to make the call so what I could do is tap search Um, if you're if you know what APIs or websites you are hitting for your application uh, from your developer, it would be more helpful so you can pinpoint right away from the list of um, traffic that you are getting from Charles instead of doing more kind of error try and error right here. But in case you don't have the information, this is very helpful. So I can see that it's making one API call and my app is still loading all right so the application has done loading so i can i know that this is the call it makes to request information for any restaurant starting with the keyword uchi so what i could do is i right click on this and set a breakpoint all right after i right click and set a breakpoint you can see it's checked and then i can go to our proxy and then breakpoints. Now I see that it's um, listed right here. Um, I'm gonna double click on this and what I would do is I would um, delete the query part because that's very specific to um, the keyword Uchi. So what I'm doing right here is I'm trying to make my breakpoint more generic 
so that every time it does a search, it will present to me a breakpoint instead of a specific search to Uchi. So I click OK. And as you can see here, I want a breakpoint on both requests when I send out information, the keyword in this example, um, and response back. So I both I want both uh, breakpoints. So I click OK, and then I click OK. So now let's do a different example to see if the breakpoints work. Um, one more thing, you need to make sure that the um, break, enable breakpoints is checked. Okay. So now let's clear all this and then let's type um, let's pick a restaurant um, let's say uh, Franklin's let's try that and then we're gonna type if, let's clean all this and then clear all this and I'm gonna type tap search so it's loading and it presents me a breakpoint which is I can see that I can see edit request and I can see that query string and I can see that the term is sending is Franklin um, and I'm gonna execute that call Now it's receiving a response from the API and I can see, I can click on edit response and click on JSON text and I can see all the information that is, that is returning to my application. Um, and as you can see on my screen right here on the um, device, um, I think because we have not executed a response, uh, which means the application has not returned the data it's supposed to receive, it has displayed an error message saying that, sorry, something's funking with Yelp right now, I try again a bit. But, uh, but it's because we have not executed right here for it to get the response. So um, now that we know how kind of the initial idea of how breakpoints work, let's redo this again. So I'm going to execute this. Right, so for Franklin, I am going to tap on search again. I'm going to clear everything and tap on search. Now it's going to present to me a breakpoint. For the request, which it did, so I'm gonna execute that breakpoint and hopefully it will return me a response with a breakpoint as well. And here's a response and I'm just gonna skip all the edit response and go to execute right away. So as soon as I, I click execute, um, it passes information toward my um, to my mobile device um, to the applications on my mo mobile device. So, so that's basically how breakpoints work. You can set up or set up a specific API call or URL um, so that every time your application or mobile web. Um, request information or hits that API, it will present a breakpoint so that you can check the information being sent out from your mobile device and being received um, by your mobile, mobile device. So um, what else can we do with it? There are a lot of things you can do with that information. So I'm going to clear this. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is how can we, the first test that we come how can we use information for our testing? Um, we can we can change we can first test API um, error handling. For example, we can change the um, the status of our, of our API call. So let me do another search with Franklin one more time.
So I'm going to clear everything here and then tap search. Uh, excuse the the screen of my phone. I'm using some reflector and it's not very real time and pretty. So I can see that the request is good. I'm gonna execute it, and then I'm gonna get a response. And here it says response is two hundred code is 200 okay so I'm gonna change it up to let's say it's 500 which means um, error and there you go your app notices that it has received a 500 internal server error code and that displays it um, let's try one more time on uh, that's where that was basically for um, changing the API um, code uh, for its status from the OK to internal server error. So what else can we do? We can also do um, we can also hold off the response so that it simulates the timeout in case that your app doesn't receive um, information it needs in a certain period. So let's say I'm going to clear this out. And then I'm going to click tab for search. And as before, it's going to present me a breakpoint for, um, for the request. So I'm going to execute the request. And it's going to give me back the response. But I'm not going to execute it. I'm going to let it wait. So my app is trying to wait on the, the response. And hopefully at some time, it will display an error um, and not hang for forever. So it seems like around 10 or 15 seconds um, is a timeout error for this application. Um, the other thing we could do is uh, we, can we can manipulate data coming into the application. Um, so how should we? How do we do that? So I'm going to clear this one more time. I'm going to choose uh, Franklin again as my keyword, and I'm going to do a search. And it will hopefully display the breakpoint for my request soon. It's taking its time. I think something went wrong here, so let me try it one more time. So I press retry and sent the request out. I'm going to execute. So now this I'm going to edit the response. So I'm going to tap on edit response and go to JSON text. Uh, you can see all, all information here, but I find it very easy to go to here and click on let's say businesses and that's where it lists all the information for me. So let's say I want to change this one to oh, I was over the uh, timeout so it give me the retry so I'm just gonna cancel this guy and redo it one more time for you guys to see so I click on retry and it will make a breakpoint for the request and then here's the response click edit click on JSON click on businesses and that's, I think this is the first business so for the phone number I'm gonna say testing and execute that so I see that the response came through and I believe I changed the first the phone number of the first listing which is Franklin barbecue so let's 
see if that's true. So I tap on Franklin Barbecue and hmm, and it did not change. The um the phone number like I had hoped. So let's look at the response that we received again. So I click here and phone number is testing. So I think I might not have changed the correct phone number somewhere um, because it has the phone number here and the dial phone number down here. So let's change something else um, to make sure that we change something that can be seen on the application. So I'm going to clear this and let's go back here and then we're going to make another let's say Uchiko this time Uchiko and then I'm going to tap search so let's clear this and tap search I'm going to execute this request and then for this response I'm going to go here and then to the businesses for this I'm going to change to testing execute and there you go so now when you look at Uchiko the first uh, business um, on the list of businesses Uchiko has testing at its um, address so if you drill down to that you can see the address right now is testing so we can manipulate um, the 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 data coming in. So with Charles, you can change to test the server um, the API code to handle API error codes. You can also use it to validate the data being displayed on your um, on your application to compare with the actual data returned by the API. You can also change data to do different kinds of testing. Um, I hope um, this tutorial was helpful and this is it for um, today. Thank you. Oh, one more thing. Um, if you guys do not want to use breakpoints anymore and just want to monitor the network without interfering with the calls, I would turn off the checkpoint the breakpoints right here by click on this button and if you want to enable enable it again just press on this all right hopefully that helps well thank you